Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of my Call of Duty Ghosts Weapon Guide. In this episode, the AK-12, the latest in a long line of reliable Kalashnikov rifles hailing from Russia. The AK's damage is higher than most other assault rifles, killing in three shots up close, or two where one is a headshot. It retains this damage over quite some distance, and ultimately falls to a four-shot killer range, or three headshots. Rate of fire is moderately low, at 697 rounds per minute. This means it's quite important to land aimed shots to ensure reliable kills, and depending on hipfire may leave you vulnerable to faster firing weapons. Hipfire spread is standard for the assault rifle class at least, so per shot hit probability is as good as most other weapons within its class, although the slower output gives the enemy a greater chance to fight back. Recoil is moderate, with high per shot deflection reined in by the slower fire rate. In most cases, automatic fire is okay, but burst firing at long range will do much to preserve ammunition and enhance accuracy. Aim time is standard for the assault rifle class at 300 milliseconds, and your movement speed is at the class default 2 at 90% of the base speed. Magazine capacity is the standard 30 rounds, or 45 with extended mags, as with most of the assault rifles. Reloads are the slowest in class, however, taking 3.27 seconds to complete. Although a far cry from an LMG grade reload, the extra half second or so could prove deleterious to your safety in certain circumstances. The AK-12 is a powerful automatic weapon in the vein of the long-standing Kalashnikov tradition, and it's a shame to compromise on stopping power when wielding such a tool. Armor-piercing rounds are a great way to add a little punch to your firepower, permitting easier traversal through thin cover, and providing bonus damage to armored juggernauts and other killstreaks. Pairing this with the muzzle brake will grant you a little extra effective range, enhancing your three-hit kill zone and ensuring you're always dealing as much damage as possible. To take the best advantage of this power, it pays to be generous in your dispensation of rounds, and perks like sleight of hand will help your ability to deal out sustained fire. I'm not suggesting you should be reckless in your shooting, but flurries of automatic fire are very much in the spirit of this weapon. To keep yourself supplied with ammunition, it can be worth equipping fully loaded to start with the maximum supply, or equip scavenger instead if you'd like the ability to resupply while on the move. Beyond this, you may also like to consider some resistive perks. You are likely to attract a lot of attention with unrelenting, unsilenced fire. Additionally, packing some explosives in your lethal slot will add some indirect firepower, a volatile mix sure to ignite your enemy's ire. The AK-12 is a powerful assault rifle that remains relatively easy to handle. No other automatic assault rifle deals as much damage, and when paired to its mild to moderate recoil, the AK will kill in very few shots at all ranges. Unfortunately, the key area where the weapon fails is in its rate of fire. Only the Remington R5 shoots more slowly within the class. This means you will be outgunned at a close range if you're not careful. With most automatic weapons able to dispense far more rounds per second, you might find the AK is too slow firing to compete. Paired with a slightly slower reload and the average handling speed of an assault rifle, it pays to be cautious at a closer range. While you might be able to down targets quickly up close in anticipated gunfights, if you're caught by surprise from the flank or rear, you will be at a disadvantage. Still, for the alert player, your reward with the AK is consistent performance across a wide range band. You'll be able to repel invaders both up close and at a considerable distance. With its hard hitting and reliable performance, every time you use your AK, it's sure to be a good day. Thank you very much for watching, and join me next time when I'll be covering the Vector CRB. Until then, farewell.